I am here today with Fax Gilbert, one of the Trillium Awakening teachers. And Fax has a beautiful exercise on clarifying consciousness that he's going to lead us through today. But I first wanted to ask Fax, is there anything about this exercise that you want us to know before you begin it? Like, how did you come up with it? Uh, I didn't come up with it, actually. Uh, it was something that uh, I ran into about 20 years ago. Uh, it was a consciousness inquiry. And at the time, I'd been meditating for around 20 years and had many experiences. But uh, following this inquiry, it was, it was fundamentally different than an experience. It was a recognition of something that had always been there that was foundational to all experience. And so as a result of that, uh, the distinction between who I am experiencing pure consciousness and who and what consciousness is living itself as me became very clear. And this is what I hope to do with this, this exercise. It's not gonna be as personalized or as targeted as the one that I went through because I'm not with you to do it and you're not there to answer specific questions. But it is going to give you a, a clear, fundamental uh, experience of uh, consciousness being clarified. Actually, consciousness doesn't get clarified. It's already clarified enough. What is clarified is your relationship to consciousness, or more specifically, uh, the relationship of consciousness as in and as you. And it's real simple. We're not going to use big words. Uh, I know that uh, in my quest for awakening, uh, I was so tired of hearing the word consciousness and, and all of that and trying to figure it out and to, and to activate something that was permanent that I kind of shut down from the whole process. And so this is very simple. It's not a lot of big words in it. Uh, we're gonna do a simple inquiry. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. And by the end of it, I think you'll have a, a clearer, relationship to that which is living as i said living itself as you and always has been so it's kind of like hiding in plain sight mm. so that's that's the uh, in the endeavor wow it sounds good to me um anything else you want to share with us before we begin the exercise i've, I've used this with uh, many of my students to good good results so uh, Let's just try it and we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, and mute myself so that um, I will be following along with this exercise and I'm glad to be able to do that. So if, if you're viewing this, just find a comfortable place to sit where you won't be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Uh, and I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Maybe make sure that uh, phone doesn't ring or uh, somebody won't be coming in. So this is just private time for the next 15, 20 minutes. And then once you've done that, let's just sit comfortably in your chair or on your bed and close your eyes. Notice the part of your body that's on the chair or on the bed. Notice any noises maybe in the room or outside. And notice your breathing. Notice your location in a house, in the country or the city, what state, what country you're in.
Notice any tightness or tension in your body. Notice thoughts coming and going. Effortlessly. Now I'd like you to introduce a specific desire. Some situation or problem that needs resolution in your life. Something that just keeps coming up to be seen, clarified, resolved. Notice if this situation creates in the body some contraction or some tension and find it. Now we all have many parts and I'm going to address the part that keeps bringing this situation to your awareness over and over again as something that needs relief or resolution or clarity around it. And I'm going to say to this part, what do you want in bringing this forward? What does this part want for you? It keeps tugging, keeps tugging on your heart for attention. Perhaps it wants some restfulness or relaxation or relief. See if that's in your body somewhere. The rest, the relaxation or the relief. And in having that fully and completely, is perhaps there anything deeper that this part would want for you? Deeper than just rest or relaxation. Perhaps some safety or security or settledness. And feel that in your body as well. Now, with the resolution of this desire or conflict or situation, perhaps there's something even deeper and more complete than just safety or security or restfulness or relaxation that this part wants for you. See if there's anything deeper and more profound.
and having the safety, security completely and fully. Is there anything deeper and more profound than that? That this part wants for you? Perhaps some freedom, some expansion, some lightness. Notice if you can feel some taste of freedom, or some bit of expansion, or some piece of lightness in your body. Now, in having this freedom, expansion, or lightness to whatever degree, is there anything deeper or more profound even that this part wants for you in the resolution of your situation? Perhaps there's a flow or some warmth, or some love. Let's see if you can find that in your body. Notice if this flow, this warmth of this love, this freedom, the expansion or the lightness, notice if it ends at the contours of your body or whether it extends beyond them. Notice if there's an end to it. Now in having that flow, love fully and completely, is there anything even deeper or more profound that this part would want for you? Perhaps some being or at homeness or knowingness. See if you can feel this in your body and even beyond. Now 
Now notice if this peacefulness, this love, this flow, this beingness, this presence. Notice if this is something that you're creating or something you're tuning into. It was already there. Now notice that along with the relaxation or the settledness or the security or the flow or the safety, or the being or the expansion and freedom, notice that along with these feelings, Maybe some thoughts. Notice how effortlessly we're able to hold sitting on a chair. Being in a room. being along with all of these qualities. Notice that there's a third element. Notice that along with the thoughts and the feelings, there's just some simple awareness. This awareness may be aware of you as an individual, a person with a history and a name. A fully packed thought. Notice that thought of you may be there or it may not. That this thought of you is noticed in the same way that every other thought is noticed. Registered. Notice that this personal you is connected to an impersonal you, an old friend, always there from the beginning, from before the beginning, just knowing, knowing itself as you, knowing itself as knowing, effortlessly. Now let's meditate for four or five minutes and I'll let you know when the time is up.
All right, let's slowly open the eyes. Thank you. A little bit hard to talk after that, Fax. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Mm. Yeah, when I hear you say that it's pretty simple, mm. the exercise you led us through is, is very simple, but what we're trying to find is ultimately the most simple thing. Right. So... Hiding in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight, yeah. yeah. So, so, thanks for uh, having me on. Uh, You're welcome. This is a value to those of you who watched it and, uh, and that you find what you're looking for. <laughs> um, and also, you did mention at the beginning of um, the exercises that you also lead people through this just individually, and then you can make your responses based on what someone might have right. I'll, replied back. So I ask the questions and provided answers. Whereas mm -hmm. when we do it personally, it's it's totally individualized, you know. And I'll be responding to the answer that is given, which is coming directly from your experience, and not something that I'm just sort of throwing out there shotgun style. Mm -hmm. And so it's much more targeted and it uses your language uh, all the way through uh, to describe, you know, a deepening of, of coming into awareness, you know, that which, that which we are, we're headed in that direction. And as you, as you, as you head in that direction, then certain qualities kind of bubble up. And so I just throw out a range of them, but in the individual session, uh, it's, it's going to be coming from you. Mm -hmm. So you'll have your eyes closed, but you'll be answering questions specific to you. Yeah, thank you. So I want to invite anyone that's listening to this, um, this exercise and followed along with facts to actually listen to it again. I think you'll find value each time you repeat it. And then, you know, be aware that there'd be even greater value if you actually contact the facts and you can find him on trillingawakening.org and set up a time for her to allow him to go through this exercise. I think he calls it clarifying consciousness and he pointed out to us that of course consciousness doesn't need to be clarified. There's nothing muddy or unclear about it, but our relationship to it may need to be clarified and that's what this exercise can do. Right, right. And, and I would like to also mention from my side, uh, also being a Trillium teacher and um, having consciousness um, be understood and directly experienced for decades, that I, I found this to be a very delightful exercise. Just taking a few moments just to allow my attention to be more fully resting in it without distraction. So thank you. Mm, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Any, any closing remarks? Oh. oh, the thought that comes to me is that, that everybody finds their own way into a recognition of this, you know, um, mm -hmm. and just be aware of the, the prompts of your being to go in a certain direction or try something, try something different or new. And you'll find that uh, people often ask, well, how do I know if, you know, this is, this is real, if this is, you know, uh, not something that I'm imagining or creating um, and what I say is that you'll be speaking the words the words uh, about your awakening and your relationship to awareness of beingness or presence and it come through you in your own unique way and and that's that's to me is the the hallmark of, uh, of a recognition of who we are it starts to speak itself through you hmm, beautiful through the system lovely yeah. mm, well thank you so much Rex yeah, thank you Seal. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.